the movie begins with the Duncans celebrating the 16th birthday of their daughter, Kat. Kat hopes to become a professional softball player and looks forward to winning her next match, which will take her to the playoffs. At dinner, William and Jen think that Kat should focus more on academics than sports, but Kat points out that she is already doing well in school. At a bar in town, mob boss Donnie Fetter brutally murders a man who has been stealing from him. His two sons and gangsters, Rory and Danny, come to meet with him. The younger, Danny, is ready to be initiated into the gang by getting his first kill, and Rory reassures Donnie that he is ready. The next day, William picks up Kat from her game where she has won, and her team is through to the playoffs. To celebrate, William plans to grab dinner for them both in town. On the way, Kat expresses how all the scouts were impressed with her, but William thinks it would be hard for her to juggle softball and law. He wishes that she sticks with law. She rightly thinks that a softball scholarship could save them money, to which William agrees, but the person that really needs convincing is Jen. Meanwhile, we see Rory and Danny, along with other gangsters, moving out in a two-car motorcade towards the town. William and Kat arrive at the restaurant, and he heads inside to grab them food, leaving Kat in the car. At that moment, Kat sees the two cars pull up alongside her and gets scared. The gangsters jump out armed and demand that she get out of the car before grabbing and smacking her. The brothers step out glaring at a scared cat, and Rory reminds Danny that he is ready to become a man. Danny then pulls his gun and shoots Cat dead. William comes racing out of the store and manages to tackle Danny as the other men escape. The two struggle, and Danny breaks free but gets caught by the responding cops. William then holds Cat, screaming for someone to help him. Cat is rushed to the hospital with William and Jen waiting there. The doctor then breaks the sad news that Cat has passed away. William goes to meet with the prosecuting attorney, but instead of justice for Cat, he learns that they will only charge Danny with assaulting an officer. Along with his parole violations, he will only serve five to seven years. William demands justice for Cat, but learns that the state has no video or photo evidence, and somehow he is the only witness. Since he suffered a concussion during the struggle with Danny, she adds that his testimony can easily be dismissed as hallucinations due to shock. She suggests that he accept the plea deal instead of going to trial. In court, William is asked to point out the shooter, but knowing that justice will not be served, William denies seeing the shooter clearly, and the judge orders that Danny be freed. Danny soon reunites with Rory outside the jail, telling him how proud he is. In the car is also Donnie who tells Danny that he is now a man and has the potential to run the streets. They talk, unaware that William is observing them from a distance and follows them as they drive away. William then parks outside a building where Danny frequents. He sees Danny step out of the building, then drives right into him, breaking his leg. William takes out Kat's softball bat from his car. Danny warns him that he will regret this, but William only cares for his little girl and brutally beats Danny to death. Danny returns home, washes the blood from the car, and wipes the back clean. He puts on a sweater to cover the blood splatter on his shirt before going in where Jen is watching a video of Kat's birthday party. She asks about his sweater, but he claims he was just cold. William then heads to the bathroom to wash up and breaks down in tears over what he has done. The couple tries to sleep that night, but thoughts of Kat keep them awake. William thinks he could have done something different that day to save Kat's life and begins to shut down on Jen. Rory and his goons head over to the club that Donnie owns. He delivers extortion money to his father, but it is way short. Donnie feels disrespected, as he has allowed Rory and his friends to run free in town and expects his cut in return. Meanwhile, gangsters inside the club get pictures of Danny and get worried. When Rory steps out, the gangsters break the news to him. Rory gets to the scene in a rage, demanding to know what happened to his brother and who the culprit is, but the cops turn him away as he watches his brother being taken away. William is at home when Detective Chin turns up to speak with him. He breaks the news of Danny's murder and wants to know William's whereabouts around that time, but William lies that he went for a walk, which Jen backs up. Chin has no leads but leaves his card and urges them not to leave town as he might have more questions. Chen leaves, and Jen demands to know where exactly he was last night, but William repeats his story and leaves. Rory and his goons are having drinks celebrating the life of his brother. He wants to find who did this so he can make them suffer, and his men promise to find him. 
One of the gangsters then rounds up the club dancers that usually work the streets at night, wanting to know if they saw anything strange last night. One girl steps forward, explaining that outside Danny's place she saw a well-dressed man parked in his car. Rory then shows her a picture of William, and she confirms that he was the man she saw. Rory then orders his men to gather everyone, as he is ready to go haunting. William is sitting outside a cafe, not seeing the gangster's car rolling by. Rory and another goon try ambushing him, but Danny avoids getting shot in the head and takes off running. He hides behind a van, and as the goon comes checking, William ambushes him and beats him down. Rory lets off shots at him, but William barely manages to avoid the shots. He tries to hide, but the men run down on him and hold him at gunpoint. Rory wants revenge, but walks away leaving the other idiot to kill William. William easily disarms the man, kills him, and takes off running. He gets away, but Rory finds his wallet and leaves the scene. William races home, calling Jen and ordering her to secure the house. He gets home and races inside, ensuring that the place is secured. Jen senses trouble and demands that he call Detective Chen. Chen is on the scene in town when he gets the call from William asking him to come by the house, and he agrees. Chen gets to the house. He has a feeling that William killed Danny and the man in town starting a war. Chen reads a file with William's history, finding out that he is a former Marine. Chen is not sure how he can help but decides to leave a squad car outside for the night. That night, William is drinking, something he has not done in a while. He finally decides to come clean to Jen. William struggles but finally tells Jen that he killed Danny Fetter and now the gang wants his head. Jen is in shock and tears and thinks that they should leave. William agrees and plans to do so first thing in the morning. That night, the cops are parked outside when someone throws a bottle at their window, and they take off after the culprit. As soon as the cops leave, Donnie along with Rory barge and holding the couple at gunpoint. William begs them to let Jen go, but Donnie refuses angrily. Donnie then shoots Jen, killing her on the spot, while Rory shoots William in the chest and they leave him to die. William manages to gather his strength and crawl to his phone to dial 911. He wakes up in the hospital disoriented and screaming for Jen, forcing the doctors to strap him down. William cries for death. William soon starts his therapy, learning to walk again, but starts planning his escape. When he is alone, he manages to slip into a janitor's uniform and walk out of the hospital with no problems. He drives to a motel where he gets a room and steals someone's luggage to have a change of clothes. After removing his cash from the bank, he is heading back to the motel when he runs into a man named Dante who swears he knows William. He then remembers William from the court case and reveals that he knows that Donnie is after him. Dante offers to help, and William initially refuses, but not having many options, he asks for a gun. Dante shows William an array of weapons, revealing that he has a history with the fetters as he was shot by Rory and lost a cousin to the gang. William picks up a Glock and examines it, then decides to purchase the entire lot of guns. Seeing that the enemy of his enemy is his friend, Dante decides to sell everything for ten grand. William easily hands over the cash, and Dante wishes he had asked for more. William then buys Dante's car for another ten grand and sets off. He heads into the woods where he begins to sharpen his skills and strengthen his body, preparing for his revenge. Donnie is mad at Rory, scolding him for not watching Danny's back, saying it should have been him. William goes to visit the graves of his family and leaves flowers on their graves. He then hits the streets, scanning for any sign of the Fetter gang. He spots one of their cars parked outside a home and grabs his gun. Inside, a large gangster is busy playing games. William bursts in, shooting the man in the leg. The large man fights back, and both try to get the upper hand with some powerful strikes. William barely manages to hold the man off before diving for his gun and shooting him in the stomach, dropping him. William demands to know where Rory is, but the gangster is hysterical, begging for an ambulance. The man offers to give up Rory for an ambulance, and William agrees, but when the man gives up Rory's club, William shoots him in the head, killing him. Detective Chen and his team soon arrive on the scene, and he knows this is William's doing. Chen then goes to meet directly with Donnie, revealing that William is still alive and he is aware of the feud with him. Chen reveals that he came alone because he wants the bloodshed to end and asks to speak with Rory, but Donnie initially refuses. 
Detective Chen then threatens to disrupt the relationship that Donnie has with the police force, so Donnie relents and calls Rory into the room. Rory enters the room and learns that William is still alive and his buddy was just killed. Chen suggests that Rory leave town for a while, as William will not stop until he is dead, but Rory just laughs in his face and berates him for wasting time when a murderer is on the loose. They demand that Chen leave, and seeing Rory's cocky attitude, Chen leaves them to their fate. Donnie then orders Rory to end this and find William and kill him. Meanwhile, William is parked outside their building watching as Chen leaves. William follows Chen, suspicious of his meeting with Donnie. As Chen is heading inside, William holds him at gunpoint and pushes him inside. William reveals that he saw Chen meet with Donnie and wonders if he is a dirty cop. Chen reveals his true intentions meeting with Donnie and urges William to let go of his quest for revenge. William finds his comet disrespectful as his entire family was wiped out by the gangsters. William decides to spare Chen and tells him that all this will be over soon, warning him to stay out of his way or he will kill him too. The next day, Rory gathers some men and goes hunting for William, who is actually in their parking lot waiting. He steps out acting drunk before knocking out the lone guard at the door. William heads inside the busy club looking around until he finds Donnie's office and comes face to face with the boss. William takes a seat in front of Donnie and reveals that he feels nothing now that he is face to face with his wife's killer and wonders if Donnie felt the same killing her. Donnie is resigned to his fate seeing no way out and urges William to get it over with. Without another word, William kills him with a shot to the head. William then takes Donnie's phone and calls Rory telling him that his father is dead. Rory warns him that he will kill him, but William replies, you can't kill what's already dead. Rory and his goons return to the club guns drawn and barge inside. They come upon Donnie's dead body, but Rory thinks he got what was coming to him. They then hear William over the speakers taunting Rory, and he orders his men to find him. The men split up in the dimly lit club before William opens fire on them, kicking off a shootout. William manages to ambush one gangster and hold a gun to him, but Rory shoots the man dead, forcing William to run away. He manages to jump in his car and escape the gunfire but ends up taking a bullet in the shoulder. He gets back to his motel where the girl that pointed him out before sees him and informs Rory. William gets to his room when Dante comes and realizing that he got shot. Dante then uses a pair of scissors and begins removing the bullet. Meanwhile, Rory and his goons arrive at the motel. They enter the lobby and ask about William's car, but when the clerk has no idea, Rory shoots him in the head. He then climbs atop his car and shouts at William to reveal himself. As he yells, William takes aim with his rifle but misses. The men open fire, and William and Dante run out, guns blazing, managing to jump into Dante's jeep. Rory and his goons give chase, and the two exchange gunfire. Rory and his goons are catching up, so Dante calls in a favor from a gangster named Roach, planning to lead Rory into an ambush. Dante then drives into Roach's garage, and his goons open fire on Rory, forcing them to escape. The gangsters close up, but just then, Rory and his goons come crashing into the garage. During the shootout, Rory kills Roach with a shot to the head. He then shoots Dante before somehow wiping out all of Roach's men in a hail of bullets. With only he and William left alive, he calls for William to finally show himself. As he monologues, William tries to ambush him but gets shot in the stomach. Rory hesitates, killing William immediately, giving him time to grab a screwdriver and stab Rory in the neck, killing him. Turns out Dante survived being shot and manages to escape before a team of cops turns up. Chen and his men gather up the survivors before they stumble upon William. William asks Chen if they can go have a drink before he slowly dies from his injuries. Chen hopes getting his revenge was all worth it in the end. Remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more movies like this. Thanks for watching.